All right, guys. So I got a worker man cook series. What I got here is I got some ham that I had made about a month ago that um I had sliced up and frozen. I I saved it in all the um the juice and everything. So it's all you know ham that's ready to go. I just defrosted it so I could have some ham for breakfast. And it's in the pineapple juice, but I'm not going to use the pineapples. I'll just cook that ham later. You know, I got some jumbo eggs. I'm going to be cooking that. And what I'm going to do with the home fries, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to use some sweet potatoes and some regular red potatoes. So I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, I'll bring you guys along as I do it. What I'll do is um, I'll cut this stuff all up, clean all this stuff, cube it all up. I'll zap this, these in the microwave, like to pre-cook them, kind of cover them with a little bit of olive oil, pre-cook them, um, then I'll cut this up, and we'll, we'll pan fry, we'll pan fry everything, get everything rendered, and, and turn them over till they get nice and brown type of thing, and then at the end, you know, we'll cook, we'll just warm the ham up and the eggs, and I got some rye bread there for the toast, so, I'll try to bring you guys along for, for give you some shots. Alright guys, so I got a little bit of ham here. I'm going to be cooking up at the end there. Some bread and some eggs. And I got the sweet potatoes all cut up. And kind of coated with some olive oil. And also got the red potatoes. I'm going to zap them in the microwave to pre-cook them. Until they're just about, you know, kind of like three quarters done. And then we'll throw them in the pan to get the rest of it. But these are going to take a while to cook, so... Well, this is something I'm doing new with the sweet potatoes. I'm trying it out. These are a lot harder than these potatoes, the sweet potatoes. So, you know, obviously when I when I throw all the stuff in the mix, um, it's going to take a while to brown them all up and stuff. So, I'm going to try it out. Something different. Ham, eggs, combination sweet, and uh, red potatoes. Home fries. Alright guys, so I got my pan here. We'll turn it on and... We'll get the onions in there. Put a little bit of olive oil. Now on these here, I already got them zapped in a microwave so that they're already pretty soft. I'm just going to kind of brown them up a little bit. And same thing with these. I zapped them in the microwave so they're already pre-cooked. I'm not too worried about the onions. I put them in there raw because they're gonna cook. Cause I gotta I gotta brown all this stuff up, so it's gonna take a little while. And this is more than one meal here, so we'll just get some seasoning going in there and we'll we'll spin these every so often. You guys know what I mean. We'll put some garlic powder in there. It's gonna take a while to cook these. You gotta have pepper. this oregano mix put that on all my stuff give it some seasoning and well you know we'll mix it up every so often here some a little doggy salt in there you can add paprika smoked paprika you know quite a bit of that in there You know, that's going to be, you know, home fries, mama. We just keep stirring these every so often. We'll give them a stir and... Oh, yeah. I didn't have to make as much as this, but I'm good with that. We'll come check on it from time to time. I'm going to kind of cook it slowly. Alright okay, guys, the whole fries are pretty much done. I've been... You know, I've been, you know, moving them around every so often. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on the back burner over there and just keep stirring them. 
In the meantime, I'm going to start the, uh, the ham and stuff. But that's how I do it. Just kind of spin them, like, you know, kind of move them around every so often. Every five minutes or so. And just keep rotating them. Kind of getting them a little crispy, you know? Trying to get them a little crispy. But they're already pre-cooked. You know, and the onions kind of wilted all down. So I'm not too worried about the onions. Like I said, I had to cook these anyway. So let me get the let me get this over there on the other burner, and we'll um we'll get the ham going here. Like I said this stuff's already pre-cooked, so we're just kind of warming it up. Bacon fat in there for the eggs so they don't stick. Yeah, my eggs, I like them over easy, so. I'll make three in case I break one of the yolks. If I can flip this thing without making a mess, think I can do it? Oh man, I broke the egg, Mama. Not good. Oh well, that's why I make three. I'll real work them and cook. Alright guys, so I got the eggs here, you know, I got this home fries and the sweet potatoes, come on, good, the regular potatoes and the sweet potatoes, come on, really good, you could just use the sweet potatoes, it tastes really good, and I got the ham and the eggs and the bread, what do you think? That's our real worker man's breakfast right there, our real worker man cook series, ham eggs, Sweet potato home fries and rye bread. Very good. The pre-cooked ham that I made the other, about a month ago. Yum! Try these potatoes out. Sweet potato home fries. Very good, guys. Yum! I'm not a big fan of sweet potatoes, but I like them like this. You know, and I put some regular potatoes in there too, so it's not that, you know, you kind of mix it up a little bit. But man, it's pretty good. 
with the onions and all the seasoning. Very good. All right, guys, you know where I'm going with this thing. What is this? The baby dog with the tongue action. She's got the little tongue action happening. Oh, yeah, she wants some. Oh, you want some? Oh, yeah, you do. They're doing a little dance for some food. Oh, you want? What's the tongue action? Oh, yeah. All right, guys, you know where I'm going with this thing. Oh, yeah, mama. Steve's a real working man. He's next level, mama. Oh, yeah. Breakfast a real working man right there. Oh, yeah.